Hello everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Mug and Play. I am Nick, we're playing more How to Date a Magical Girl, and that sound you're hearing is the sound of a backyard tire swing, where childhood memories are being made in an entirely wholesome fashion. Anyway, our character Bobson Dugnut seems to be suffering from a tad bit of insanity, probably from watching all those people die, or finding all those dead bodies. But I'm noticing, again, the room is flipped the wrong way. So I'm starting to suspect maybe parallel universes are going on right now. I don't know. But starting off the day with, ha ha ha, oh yeah, Ami and Ami died yesterday. I don't know why you're laughing about it, but, and the dog barked at me. The... Bob's and Dung, are you okay? You feeling all right? I'm noticing none of this is flippy flopped. And now it's back to normal. I should go to school today. That sound, I am still hearing it. And... Oh, jeez. Everyone already knows that those twins died. This room is turning colors. It's changing colors. Why do you have the hearties? The hearty hearts. The twins were hanging from a tree. Oh, jeez, you don't have to bring it up. The twins had a name. It was one, of the, it was one name, but two names that were similar. Uh, okay. Ami and Ami, or Amy and Ama, or Ami and Bobs and Dugnut, or Ami and... Why was one of them me? Why was I one of them? The janitor took... The oh, this is... This is... Very highly saturated content. And now very low saturation, and then it's better, and it's back, and it's just changing a whole bunch, but... The janitor took the bodies down from the tree, but one of them fell. I don't know which one it was. Was it Ami or Ami or one of them fell and broke a leg, but I guess it's already dead, so I probably didn't feel it anyway. I'm going to go to the cafe if you want to join me. This is very strange. Uh, oh. Oh, I'm seeing some... Okay. I've been stuck here with the commercials playing most of the day. I'll never get the Frinky Jinkles out of my head. The Frinky Jinkles? Twins died up here. Jeez. Bob's and Doug Knight, you've got a touch of the insanity. I'm gonna afraid I'm afraid you're gonna have to Why don't you take Hoshi to the beach now? Maybe that's why. You'll pay for this, Bob's and Doug Knight. Mark my words, one day you will pay. Is the fucking is the is Hoshi killing people? Is the dog killing people? That's what I wanna know. Commercials and news broadcasts, that's all that's been on. Do you have any idea how boring the news is? I don't care about human affairs. The most interesting bit was when they pulled a body out of the river. Some poor sod had his head bashed in and they discovered him floating downstream. Yeah, we've already been over this. And again, room is flip-flopped the wrong way, but at least he doesn't have commercial jingles ringing in his ears. Yeah, probably because they weren't able to find them. They were dead. Oh, gee, oh, hey. The twins are dead, and Shin died. Alright, put up the counter from the other day. We're only going to add that one, and then the counters are tired. So there's our new updated amended total. Oh, oh, all those people died. Oh, that other student died at your school. And then another one, too. And then that teacher died. She was hanging on the wall. And when Noriko died, the twins are dead, and Shin died. Tune in next time to find out who else is going to die. I mean, like I said, we are kind of averaging one an episode at this point, but, uh, ooh. All right, let's check our schedule. Hey, we can hang out with Yui later. Let's, let's, uh, let's hang out with Yui later. Okay. Hopefully that happens. My head feels clearer today. D does it? I felt foggy all day yesterday. I know I went to school, but I don't remember anything that happened. All I remember is my own thoughts running rampant inside my head. But today my mind is quiet. It's nice. Okay. Bob's and Doug Knight, you look better today. You were so pale yesterday. Uh, you should have seen me for the first couple minutes of this episode. I was far from okay. Yeah, you weren't yourself at all. We could tell something was off. I'm okay now. I think Ame and Ame's death shocked me more than I realized. I don't blame you. Everyone at school is terrified. Yeah, because Satomi was like, no more students are going to die, and then more students died. So, you know. Didn't exactly uh, fulfill that promise. Hmm, who killed them anyway? It's not like the cult's still around. Do you remember the cult leader said something cryptic like, someone close to us has already betrayed us, and we're all just puppets or something? 
Yeah, I remember that. Uh, but what's it? Uh, but what's it mean? Hmm. Do you think the person Noriko mentioned is the new killer? First Shin, then Ami and Ame. Their deaths must be connected. I don't think anything of it at first, but now. So someone close to us is a traitor, and now they're doing the killing. We have to find out who it is. I like how you're saying that so nonchalantly to everyone, like, at lunch. Be like, bro, we're just trying to eat lunch together. These senseless deaths need to stop. Agreed. I'm with you. Let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, okay. Well, can I at least go to the library today? And spend some time with Yui? Spend time with Yui. You and I need something big and important to move our relationship forward. Maybe I should wait for so uh, uh, should keep, uh... All right, fine. I'll just roam around the forest for a little bit. Who cares? Whatever. The fresh air will do me good. Got some water. Okay, good. And what else did I get? A uh, purple mushroom. I don't think I've gotten those before. All right, cool. Like I got a maybe new thing. All right. Still some time before bed. Hikari is a cafe Shiba and raised at the convenience store. Let's, let's go, let's go to Cafe Shiba. Maybe spend some time with Akari, who I'm still suspicious of. Why are you still in your school uniform? It's Friday night. All right, let's get something for Hikari. All right, I think she would like, I think she's into Taiyaki. We'll give her a Taiyaki. Here, you want a Taiyaki? There you go. Oh my gosh, Taiyaki, my favorite. It might look like seafood, but it's totally different. Thank you for the gift, I'm really happy with it. There you go. Increased by four? Oh my goodness. If I go on a date with Hikari, a relationship will progress to the next stage. Okay, let's go on a date. What's the worst that could happen? It's not like I'm going to die. Just watch, I just kill, I just completely screwed myself. Hey, now that we're in town, what would you like to do? Hikari? Eh, uh, meet me at the arcade in about half an hour, okay? Give me a head start. What? I watched Hikari take off at a speed I didn't know she could reach. What is with that girl? She's going to the arcade. I decided to give her the head start she requested. Well, let's wait here and enjoy this mysterious piece of unwrapped candy I found in my pocket. I'm sure it's safe. Really? I don't have a piece of candy at the ready? Halloween was yesterday when I was recording this, and I don't have candy on hand. So much for prop comedy. Blah, it's not candy. The f What'd you have in your pocket? Has it been half an hour yet? No, only a minute. I guess I could just walk to the arcade really slowly. All right, this is a weird... I do take my time walking through town, but I'm still five minutes early. I figure I'll sneak up on Hikari. The arcade is noisy as usual and full of kids blowing their allowances trying to win cheap toys. There in the middle of them, and not much taller I might add, is Hikari blowing her allowance and trying to win a cheap toy. Oh no, why won't you drop, you adorable piece of- Having a hard time? Eh, hey, jeez, don't sneak up on me like that. Do you want to give me a heart attack? If anything is going to give you a heart attack, it'll be the mountain of sweets you eat every day. Why you gotta hurt a girl like that? I'm perfectly healthy and my metabolism is super high. I'm not fat at all. Hey, nobody was shaming anybody. I'm just saying, you may have a heart condition. Never said that you were fat. Besides, I know you have the energy to burn Hikari. Guess that's what I admire about you. You're always happy, always full of energy. Perhaps energy enough to kill? Hmm? Not grammatically correct, but you get what I was accusing you of. I can see Hikari's face blush, and I realized I was being too mushy. Give myself a mental shake and change, change the subject. So anyway, uh, Shin died. I just... <laughs> Right, what overly cute piece of cotton-filled crap are you trying to win today? Kari steps to the side and looks a little ashamed, and I can totally see why. You, you, you never told me they finally released the Cutie Star Super Deluxe Mega Plushie? Pops and Doug Nuts, you're yelling. I don't care. They said that there was only going to be a handful of those released, and you're trying to win the last one without me? Maybe she's trying to win it for you. To be like, sorry I murdered those people who cared about you. I knew if I told you, you'd get too excited, and I never get to hold it. I regain my composure and watch a few mothers ushering their children away from us in fear. Good. Better watch out. One of us may be a killer. Ah, don't be ridiculous. You found the last one. You should be the one to keep it. I'm totally lying through my teeth. 
Well, the thing is... Hope Rising. I spent all of my allowance trying to win it. Yes, you can't afford to keep trying. It's my shot to win this priceless treasure. Maximum hope achieved. Pops and Dugnut. You kind of fucking suck. I sort of... I'm, I'm, I'm almost rooting for you to get killed next. Or soon. However, I'm calling in a super pinky promise favor you made me way back when I showed you the Cutie Star Calendar and Planner app. Hope fading. Win me that plush. Hope deleted. <laughs> I can't really say no, can I? No. And you don't dare try and fake not winning it. If you say you have no more money left, I'll drag you away and let someone else swoop in on the machine. She really has me over a barrel today. Fine, stand aside and watch a pro. I drive my money into the machine, the familiar music begins to play, and the buttons light up. I begin to sweat. This is truly a game of intelligence and dexterity. I must use all of my training for this. Three buttons, up, right, and enter. Like the three goddesses of fate from Greek mythology. Oh, sweet and cruel Lady Luck, bless this poor child with your loving hand so that I may emerge a victorious. Come on, my friends died recently. Cut me some slack. I move the claw up. Oh god, did it move too far? I compose myself, only then to realize that the machine is on a timer. Only ten seconds left. Crap, crap, crap. I move the claw for, far to the right. I'm surely done for. I can feel Hikari looming over me like the Grim Reaper. I must be victorious. I slam my fist down on the final button. Enter. Oh, I won. <laughs> Alright. Yes, you did it, Bobson Dugnut. I'm so happy I could kiss you. There's an awkward silence between us. Okay. But I won't, because you're gross. Oh, 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 I see. I win you that thing you want, and I want more, and I'm the gross. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I'll hide my grossness with this plush that I just won. Ouch. Well, damn. I won it. I bent over to retrieve the glorious plushie and stared to its beautiful stitched eyes. Bobs and Doug Knight, you won't just hand me over, will you? I'll be forever lost in Hikari's mountain of cheap toys. Take me home with you. I know you'll love me ever so tenderly. Oh god, this toy is talking to me. Bob's nothing that you were losing your mind. Well, the plush toy has spoken. Either I'm crazy or just hopeful. It's both. It's both. At the very least, it's both. I look over at Hikari and see her staring at Cutie Plush lovingly. I can tell Hikari really wants this, possibly even more than I do. Who am I to stand in the way of love? I hand the plushie to Hikari and she quickly snatches it out of my hands. Thank you, Bobs and Dugnut. I was almost worried you were going to go back on your promise. I was going to, but, you know. Who, me? Never. Goodbye, my love, my cutie star. Come on, Bobs and Dugnut, let's go celebrate our victory. What do you have in mind? No more expensive, please. Let's get snacks from the convenience store. Bless you, Kari. That I can do. Alright. This is a fun conclusion to the week. Amidst the multiple people that have died. Hmm, should I get Pookie or an ice cream? Pookie, oh, like Pocky. Or I could get, I've been here for 10 minutes pacing the store, but Hikari is so indecisive when it comes to picking snacks that I'm just about to leave her. It's not like I have a coworker to talk to now. She finally settles on a pack of mixed chocolate sweets and I let out a sigh of relief. Why do you always take so long picking out food, Hikari? Oh, it's just... I can tell I've hit a nerve. I get a little concerned. Hikari? Well, it's just, Mom doesn't really like me having sweets, so I don't get to have them at home to enjoy. Kinda have to hide them or eat them quickly before I get home. Sometimes she finds them and throws them out. I had no idea Hikari's mom was so strict. I mean, Hikari's an adult now. She's out of high school. Why can't she enjoy her sweets? I'm sorry, Hikari. I had no idea. Tell you what, you can hide your sweets in my place and come over to enjoy them at your own pace. Promise I won't eat them either. Unless I forget to do my shopping and have no food in the house. I can see Hikari tear up a little. But thank you, Bobs and Dugnut. You really are a good friend. I flash Hikari a devilish grin, though I'm sure it came off kind of creepy because she starts laughing. I go to the counter of the page, and I notice Hikari sets her sweets next to mine and takes a step back. Hey, <laughs> I forgot. She spent all of her money at the arcade. Duh. I mean, I, th I was expecting that too, but... <sighs> well. At least it seems like... It's slightly toned down. No one died in this episode, although we had two people die in the last one, so we're still averaging one per episode for like the last three, four episodes. Possibly more, because that one episode where Noriko died, two other people died. So we're averaging over one death per episode right now for like the last four to five episodes, but 
on that note, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you want to hang out with me some more, you can hang out with me on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash mugandplay, where I play games live and nobody dies. I mean, nobody of consequence anyway, but <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. We hang out, we have a good time, and you're invited to hang out with us. But I'm gonna do one more episode of this, and hopefully hopefully it gets a little less crazy. But thank you so much. I love you all, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.